Hey there, welcome to the Blue Sky Sanctuary. That's my property in the Baja in Mexico. It's also my YouTube channel where I've been sharing a lot of what I've been up to here over the last handful of years. And I'm happy to be sharing with you today three things that have pleasantly surprised me about living off grid. Before I get into the little list, I want to acknowledge that there is definitely a strong correlation between how much you invest in your off grid setup and how much you're going to enjoy it and how many pleasant surprises you might find along the way. I can say this based on my experience over the last few years having arrived to this property that I purchased. It was completely untouched land. I lived here in my camper with a pretty small solar system, no source of water at all, and really had to learn how to make resources stretch and I had my fair share of challenges. But now I am in the house that we built. I have a really good solar system on the roof and I have a 10,000 liter cistern outside holding water for me. And with that, I will get into the list, the top three pleasant surprises. Number one is the feeling of security and stability that has come with this off-grid life. I did not foresee this, especially given how I felt when I was living in my camper here with my little solar system and little to no resources at all. I often had a feeling of lack and I don't have enough power, I don't have enough water. Now I feel the exact opposite. And in fact, I feel more secure managing my own resources of power and water than I did when I was connected to the grid on my last property here in Mexico. As you might know, um, Mexico is not renowned for having really uh, reliable utilities. And so now when a storm is coming or a hurricane's coming, I'm not even worrying about if uh, the power is gonna go out and for how long. I know that my solar system is gonna provide me with, the, with enough power to basically stay comfortable. And that just brings a fantastic feeling of security that I didn't foresee. So that's been really enjoyable. Uh, the number two thing is that it is encouraging me to do a few more extra healthy lifestyle things that I didn't foresee. So that's been a pleasant surprise. I already live a pretty healthy lifestyle, but some of the things that off-grid living has encouraged me to do is, for example, when it was just too hot to sleep in the house, it's a cinder block house and it heats up. Uh, even though my solar system runs air conditioning for me in the day, it doesn't run it in the evening or the night. And at times here, it was as warm as 25 degrees outside, which means it's about 30 degrees inside the house, so far too warm to sleep inside. So I got pushed out of the house and into my tent, which at first I was a little bummed about, but then it didn't take long for me to not only adapt, but really love sleeping in the tent. I love the fresh air. I love looking at the stars from inside the tent. And what I probably love most is that I'm getting up with the sunrise effortlessly. And I'm going to bed soon after sunset effortlessly. And so probably for some of you watching, you're thinking that sounds terrible. I don't wanna go to bed that early, I don't wanna get up that early, and fair enough. But for me, I am by nature a morning person, and I really do love getting up early. But when I'm in the comfort of my house, climate controlled and light controlled, it's easy for me to sleep in to like 7.30, even eight o'clock, which for me is late, and I don't wanna do that. So when I'm in the tent, I get this nice, slow, light coming into the tent at 5.30 in the morning, and by six, I'm up and at it, full of fresh air. I feel like I the best word to describe sleeping in the tent here in Mexico is it's refreshing. And so now, even though the temperature has changed and the strongest of the heat of summer is over, I'm still sleeping in the tent because it feels so good for me. It feels grounding to be on a mattress that's right on the earth. And I know I'm sounding like a bit of a hippie right now, which I am at heart, but um, it's really been awesome. Also, watering on the off-grid property, carrying buckets of water to plants. Um, if you've looked up, you know, really, uh, what are they called? They're just kind of the fundamental exercises that help balance the body. Walking with weights in your hands is one of those 
top of the list. And so I'm doing that every day here and that is strengthening my core and it's balancing my body and that's been uh, just a great part of the process. So it's basically making me healthier. That's something that I didn't foresee. The last thing that is a pleasant surprise is just how easy it is. I think this comes from the fact that I chose this lifestyle. I haven't been pushed into it. Um, I think that goes with many things in life. If we do the hard thing by choice because we want to, it's a lot easier. And if we're feeling like we're being pushed into something or that we have to do something, it can feel a lot harder. So basically, I have had my struggles here for sure. But now that I'm in the rhythm of off-grid life in my home, as I say, with my solar and my cistern and my dogs um, and my friends and my community, it feels a lot easier than I expected it to based on the experience that I've had in the past where it was really challenging where I'm in my camper with little to no resources. So if you are thinking about going off grid, whether that's in your home country or you want to come here to Mexico and do it, I hope these thoughts and this perspective gives you some inspiration. It is worth the effort to get across the finish line, or at least that's been the experience for me. And I'd love to hear from you, share your experiences in the comments, and I'm going to keep this one short today. I so appreciate you being here, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now.